Hi, my name is Suhaim Parak and I'm a developer advocate for academic research at Twitter. In this video, I wanted to talk to you about how you can get COVID-19 related data using the Twitter Developer Labs filtered stream endpoint. Now for some context, Twitter recently announced the COVID-19 stream endpoint that delivers tens of millions of tweets over four partitions. However, in order to consume and process this high volume of data, you need to have the right tech infrastructure and resources. But maybe you're a student at a university who wants to consume some of this data for their coursework or for a personal project. In this case, the high volume of data from the COVID-19 stream might not be suitable for you. Instead, you can get some of this data using the filtered stream endpoint and using the COVID-19 tweet annotation. In this video, I will show you how to get this data using Python and perform sentiment analysis on it. Now, in order to use the filtered stream endpoint, we first need to have a Twitter developer account. If you haven't applied for one yet, go to developer.twitter.com slash en slash apply for access and apply. Once you have an approved account, you will have to create a Twitter app. This will give you your consumer key and secret that you can then use to connect to the filtered stream endpoint. Also make sure to join the Twitter developer labs and also make sure that you have activated the filtered stream endpoint as well as making sure that you have an app that's associated with the filtered stream endpoint. Now, before we get into the implementation, let's take a quick look at the documentation that's available for the filtered stream endpoint. So here you can see some details about this endpoint. We also have code samples in Node and Python and Ruby on how you can get connected to the filtered stream endpoint quickly. And then we have the API reference here that shows you the different endpoints that you can use for the filtered stream endpoint. So now let's take a quick look at the implementation in Python. Here I have a config file which hosts my consumer key and consumer secret for my Twitter app and also the AWS secret and access keys to connect to Comprehend, which is the service that I will be using to perform sentiment analysis. Now I have pre-configured some functions here. So I have a get bearer token function that makes a call, a post call in order to get the bearer token using my consumer key and consumer secret. I also have a function called the create rule function. So this is the function that is actually going to create rules for me that I can filter the data using the filtered stream endpoint. So it's a post endpoint and it, it takes in a set of rules, one or more. So here's where things get interesting. Now, if you wanted to get data for COVID-19, you might be thinking of doing something like, or you'll use terms such as COVID or COVID-19 or stay at home and other search terms that are associated with the COVID-19 endpoint. Instead, Twitter now provides the context operator that lets you get data by topic. So you can get data about the COVID-19 topic using the context operator and by specifying the context ID as well as the entity ID. So now instead of using a list of different uh, terms, you can just use this context operator and this will give you the exact same data that the COVID-19 stream endpoint gives, except that this will be at a much lower volume. So now I'm going to go ahead and run my main, main method and this should hopefully create the new rule for us. So here it says that it created one rule for us. So now we should be able to get data for this topic as the rule has already been created. So now let's go ahead and create the function that actually does the streaming for us. So here I'm going to create a new function. I'm going to call it stream connect. And this actually takes the, the better token and I'll get the response here. And this is a get endpoint, so request.get. And then I specify the stream URL above. Now this uses the authorization uh, header as well. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. Here, and then finally, I'm going to specify stream is equal to True. Okay. 
So now I have the call ready and I'll parse the response for it. So I'll do for response line in response dot it overlines. Oops. And if there's a response line, then I'll get each line will be a tweet. So I'll do a JSON dot load. So convert a JSON of the response line. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and import this JSON library as well. And now I'll also try and extract the ID. So the ID is or I can just print it. So I'll do print. So from this tweet, I'll pull the data object and from that I'll pull the ID property. Okay, so now this is my function that will get me, that'll connect to the stream and print the ID each time I get a tweet for this topic. Now in my main function, instead of doing this first, I'll get the um, token here. And then I'll also set a timeout logic uh, in case I get disconnected, I should be able to uh, reconnect as well. And then while true, I'm going to do stream connect with this token that I just created, right? And then here is my logic for uh, trying to reconnect. So timeout and then plus equal to one. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and import this as well. All right, now in my main function, I have this setup, so I'll go ahead and run this. So now you see you've started receiving the tweet IDs, uh, which means you're getting all tweets. So in your rule, you specify that give me all tweets for COVID-19 for this context, and they should be in the English language. That's why I use the lang operator. And I'm also doing a negation on is retweet, meaning I only want tweets that are not uh, that are not retweets. I'm go I'm gonna go ahead and and stop this for now. So now I have the stream of data ready for me. Now next, I want to do sentiment analysis on it. So for this, I'm going to use the comprehend service that AWS provides. So first, I'm going to go ahead and initialize the client for that here. So I'll do comprehend and then using the uh, Bodo3 library. So I'm going to go ahead and import that here. Import Bodo3. And then here, I'm going to specify uh, client and the service name is comprehend. So, oops, comprehend here. And then my AWS access key ID, which is, I'll get it from my config file. So config dot um, AWS, um, access key and then my so I'm gonna or here AWS um, underscore secret access key is config dot AWS secret key and then also specify the region so region name, which is config dot AWS region. Okay, so now I have the client set up here. Next, what I'm going to do is instead in my function here, instead of getting the uh, tweet ID, I'll get the tweet text. So I'll do text is equals to, and then I'll get the text here. Right, so now I have the text. Now I'm going to call the comprehend service and ask it to do the sentiment analysis for me. So here I'll do print 
comprehend dot detect sentiment and then I'll pass it the text which is this text here and then also I'm going to pass it the language code so language code which is English and then from this I'll get the sentiment so sentiment okay and I'll go ahead and run this now. So now what I'm doing is getting the, the text from each of these tweets and I'm simply printing the, the sentiment for each of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this now. So if you see here, now it started uh, publishing the sentiment for each of the tweets that are coming in. Now obviously for this uh, sample, I was just printing it to the uh, the the console, but in your case, you might want to first store the tweets in a file and then perform sentiment analysis. And you likely might want to also use your own classifier in order to do the sentiment analysis. Finally, keep in mind that you can't share the data as is, but instead you can only share the tweet IDs if you want for peer review. Thanks for watching and follow us on Twitter Dev and on the Twitter community forums.